guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean Petey and you guys can call me Sha. If it's your first time here, hello and you are definitely welcome. Join our family by clicking the subscribe button so that you can get a notification each time I upload a video. Um, and in, I don't want to rumble too much, so in this video I just wanted to show you guys how I create this wet curls on straight hair. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys haven't watched, I did. I also did um, wet curls on Kelly hair. I'll just leave the link in my description box or you can just go over to my channel and um, I think it's probably, it's somewhere there. You'll find it. I know that. But anyways, I love you guys so much and thank you for tuning in again and thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay guys, I know I look like a mess. <laughs> But we are about to fix this together. So this wig is not glued or anything. It's also a three-part closure. And I just washed it. It's new. It hasn't been worn or anything. Um, it's handmade as well. So yeah, this is how it looks. I don't know how I'm going to part this. Okay. I want this hair to be like that. So you, like I said, you are going to need the same things. This is how long it is. I haven't done anything to it so far. I was going to cut it into a bob, but I was like, let me do this first. So you're going to need the same things. You're going to need water. You're going to need um, my, your, not mine, but yours. You're going to need a wrap moss or any moss that you can find. Preferably Kelly hair moss. If you don't have um, a Kelly hair, then you can opt for something that works for both, like this one. This one works for both, but some. Let me just get another one. So I do have a lot of mousse. <laughs> I've been trying almost everything. This one is the Revlon. I don't know if this thing is gonna focus. This one is the Revlon Flex Ultra Strong Hold Mousse, and it's for volume. And then this one is the Perfect Touch. This one is also for Kelly. There we go. So this one holds very well. It does curls, but I feel like it, 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 they become white later on, which is what I don't like about it. So for me, I feel like this hair is not that. I don't want it too wet. Um, I don't know if this spray is working. This is water. I don't really want it to be too damp. Um, I just wanted to flatten this front part. You can wet your hair if you if you have straightened it. Um, I don't recommend that you straighten your hair prior to doing this. It it makes things tough. Actually, the the waves become like body. <laughs> you know how a body wave acts when you like try to straighten it, and the straightener is not that hot. That what that's what happens. So I would recommend that you just wash your hair and leave it the way it is. It's much better. So there is my middle part. I want it to get somewhere there. So I'm gonna take it a little bit backwards. Okay. I'm just gonna do it again. My hair is getting wet underneath. So yeah. I wanted this party. Please be very careful of this. Yeah, I think that's fine. See, flat. So we're gonna move on to the mousse. And I'm going to start with the front portion. I realized that um, from my previous video, I lost the footage so this time around I think I'm gonna do everything on camera I'm not gonna do one side and then do the other side later no. see already the curls are popping the problem with most is that once you touch it, it becomes slippery okay, this is not working wow I should do the Kelly mousse, this perfect touch Kelly mousse on one side just to see if it will make a difference for those who have it. So. See? Ooh, 
I love it already. So I'm just gonna put Ooh, that look. Okay, let's try it. I hope it hasn't expired. It's expiring on the 16th of May 2021. Okay. The reason why I'm still checking is because apparently products I've known this for like three years now that products have a lifespan underneath or somewhere. So if it's like 12 months, you can use it after 12 months, even if it's not. Oh my gosh, my foods. Now it's my phone. So there we go. I'm going to do it this side. It feels a bit heavy. It feels very heavy. And it's not dissolving as fast. Mm, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I don't know how I feel honestly. Because I feel like it's increasing the volume. But it's not wetting my hair. The hair feels... That, okay, no. I'm sorry but I'm not gonna... I don't have windows. The hair feels heavy. So to avoid using a lot of mousse, I would suggest that you wet the hair like damp. It helps with using just a little bit of mousse. And I feel like I love the side much better. Okay, both sides look nice. This one now is a bit too damp and it still feels like it's a little bit heavy but I'm just gonna come close to the camera so that you guys can see There we go Okay, this are the curls So this is not gonna like last for long probably for like 12 hours then it's gonna dry out I don't know why because with Kelly hair, it can last a little bit longer, but with straight hair, it doesn't look wet for long. So I'm just gonna flatten up the top. I thought I was gonna do some baby hairs, but now I'm starting to think otherwise. There we go. So this takes like five minutes. There we go. Oh, <laughs> but I love the curls. I really, really love them. Okay, I don't know if I love this party. I don't really like using a comb for this, but if you want to use a comb, use um, a a Kelly brush comb it helps with um, keeping those curls intact if you use something too thin they might die the hair might actually numb together I don't suggest that if you want to use something like this try to get um, a comb with white tooth which people call white tooth comb or something like that see but if you use this it becomes straight so I wouldn't suggest like that so the reason why I'm doing this is just to crunch up the curls again I really wanted to do some baby hairs but I guess it's not gonna work people are gonna ask me how did you do the, do the bed I didn't do it the hair just fell <laughs> people think you do magic so, I love the look. I actually love it more than I thought I would. <laughs> I'm guilty. And this is still the length. I wanted to chop it maybe to somewhere there, but I don't see the need anymore. I really, really love how it turned out. And I think you can also wear it straight. Let me just put this there. This is just to hold this in place because I don't want this hair here to be bumpy. I don't like it when like your wig is bumpy up here and then you look like you have two heads. I don't like that. 
so I try by all means to like hold this part with the holding spray or anything you can also add um, a little bit of serum I'm using the K yeah I think it's K expert I'm using the K expert I'm just gonna put a little bit because um, you know when hair is dry especially if it is blonde it sort of like breaks a lot so I'm just putting this a little bit so that it gets moisturized throughout the day if you create this look please tag me on instagram i am she is sha just tag me and i'll i'll be happy to see that i helped so guys this brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching it and i hope it was informative if you have any questions just leave them in the description box below i will make sure that i respond to each and every one of you guys i love you guys so much and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video 